Hello, Taurus viewers. We're going to get right into the reading. So whatever the cards want to say, we'll see what the storyline is. Six of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Seven of Wands reversed, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Nine of Swords. Somebody kind of feels like they're just going to be alone forever or they just feel... It's like they feel like they, they're having, it's almost like part of them is like walking away from their dream of like having somebody is what I'm feeling here. Or they feel like all their relationships in the past, maybe they have karmic patterns that they need to end, soul contracts that they need to end regarding, you know, being alone or being with the wrong kind of people. But it's like there's some kind of pattern that needs to be ended here because it feels like this person is getting to that point where they just... They feel like they're going to be single forever. Maybe this is somebody who's never had a partner or like the partners they have had, they've been emotionally unavailable. Eight of cups, nine of, it's like someone's walking away, but like with a nine of swords, it's like they feel anxiety, like bitterness, um, sadness. It's almost like they're, this person's like walking away from like the dream of like having true love in a way. High priestess, the magician. I feel like this person, though, is, it's almost, I don't know if part of the divine plan is the right way to say it. It's almost like this person feels anxiety. They feel like they're just meant to be alone, but really they're becoming the high priestess. And then we have the magician card here, too. So it's almost like they, how do I explain this? It feels like they were stuck in a karmic loop, like a karmic cycle with the same types of people over and over and over again. And that's why it's like they weren't really manifesting new types of people. They were manifesting the same person in different bodies. You know what I mean? Like if somebody has some kind of subconscious pattern. So it's like, you know, attraction is, is what is it, like 90% subconscious. So you can meet someone and you can be like, oh, wow, like, I think this is actually a good person. I think I've actually changed this pattern finally. But there's something subconscious that's like drawing you to that person. You know what I mean? Like it's still part of an old pattern because it, it's almost like this person is like meeting the same person in different bodies. It's like if you if you meet people that cheat or have third parties, it's like that pattern keeps repeating. There's some kind of karmic or past life cycle that needs to be ended. Soul contracts possibly. I'm also seeing though it just also could just be like a subconscious pattern from childhood that really needs to be addressed where it's like like the healing hasn't really taken place. It's almost like um it's it's almost like this person uh you know they they're not seeing they're they're not they need to study psychology. They need to look at the underlying patterns. They need to look at what's going on with, you know, body language, subconscious patterns. They need to look deeper because I feel like this person is just looking at things on kind of a surface level where it's, it's like they're like, okay, men are just garbage or women are just garbage. I just have bad luck when that's not really the case. It's the kind of people that you're physically attracted and attracting. Um, you feel me? So like if you had an absent parent, um, then you might be repeating that pattern. Or if you had a, a parent that like cheated a lot, like cheated on, on your, your mother or father, you might be re repeating that pattern too of, of being in these third party situations and trying to, to fix these people and heal these per people and, and, you know, uh, maybe save them in a way that you felt like you couldn't save your father or your mother figure, or it's, it's like you're, um, it's just like, I just see this pattern that's been repeating and it's, it's someone's looking at it the wrong way. Someone's not recognizing what's going on here is kind of what I feel. Because it's like the pattern hasn't really, it's like subconscious, you know, so it's difficult, but it, it's like that pattern hasn't really been healed. So it's almost like this person goes out and dates and they meet someone and they get cheated on or the person's emotionally unavailable or, you know, it's, it, could be multiple things and then this person is like okay like you know that 
I'm moving on from that. I'm going to be strong. I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to manifest new love. And then they meet someone else and they do the same exact thing. And it's like a roller coaster for this person where this person is like repeating that pattern, but then they get their heart, they open their heart and they get excited. And you're like, maybe this is the one, maybe this is the one, but they've been in a karmic cycle. So none of these people are going to be the one because you're, you're attracting, you're still drawn to a certain type of person. You know what I mean? So they're all going to be the same people just in different bodies until this pattern is actually healed. Um, they feel like this person's just having anxiety and they're just thinking, oh, I just have bad luck. Or I just, you know what I mean? Like they're just in their head thinking, oh, I just have bad luck with, with people. And it's, it's not like you could have the love of your life, like standing right in front of you. And you probably would see them as a friend. You wouldn't resonate with them. You know what I mean? Like you wouldn't be physically attract. You might not be physically attracted to them because of this pattern that you've been repeating. But tell me more about the high priestess and the magician because there's something really magical happening here though it feels like there's it's like because this person's been in a state of anxiety about this and just feeling really alone but it's almost like they're becoming the high priestess they're becoming I feel like the high priestess is also studying its intuition it's being on your psychic path oh so i think i think i know what this is saying too this is let me see two of cups yeah so this is someone that's saying or this is, this is maybe someone, maybe, maybe a certain spirit guide coming through. Um, I do feel like a grandmother figure actually for somebody here, like a, um, I'm seeing like darker skin. I'm seeing, um, I don't know if it's like a grandmother or an ancestor that just for some, someone, I don't know why I heard something about alligators. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Maybe they're from Florida, maybe for somebody, I don't know. Um, it was just super random. I just saw an alligator. I'm like, I, I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> anyway, let me get to it. So I feel like what's happening here, though, is I feel like, you know, you've had enough of this karmic pattern. I think you're recognizing this karmic pattern now. You're recognizing it like you're kind of still in that, that mentality of like, oh, I just have bad luck. I'm just maybe I'm just destined to be alone. And I don't think that's the case. I don't feel like you're destined to be alone or anything like that. But I feel like this is going to drive you to pursue your spiritual path. So this might be studying. This might be studying the occult, studying psychic work, maybe channeling, um, maybe going through a spiritual awakening. And then you're going to be in that magician energy where you are going to be, you're going to be on a higher vibration. And so I think you're going to, from that intuitive space, you're going to be able to see these patterns. Because before, I feel like you felt so lonely that you weren't seeing the patterns. You weren't you weren't digging deep enough. You were just seeing things on the surface level. You really needed to open your mind more. You needed to be more intuitive and look deeper at things. Look at what's happening subconsciously on a psychological level, but also on an intuitive level, your body, like as you develop your intuition, your body is going to feel like something's going to feel off with these people. You know what I mean? Like when you start channeling, it's like, you're going to something, you're going to know, like you're going to, you're going to start feeling it more. Cause I feel like this is somebody who didn't really listen to the red flags in the past I feel like they saw red flags as like what is what is that what is that that quote I saw the red flags and I thought it was a a carnival <laughs> um I shouldn't laugh at that I'm sorry but but yeah that's kind of the energy I feel that's kind of the energy that I'm feeling here But as you develop your intuition, as you get on your spiritual path, as you level up, as you get in the high priestess energy, you're going to end up being the magician. The magician can manifest whatever they want. The magician is very powerful. They have all the tools they need to manifest this two of cups, to manifest their, their soulmate, their life partner, their twin flame. And all these experiences are going to teach you how to you might be led led to help other people that are going through that too like you might even have like a career in like psychology or therapy or something to kind of help people recognize those patterns as well you might be writing a book because I do feel like for this this energy group I feel like there's something about like self-help like you're meant to like help some people that are going through that once you get out of it you're going to show them how to get out of it that energy as well um because you're going to look back, you're going to start studying this, you're going to start studying psychology, I feel, and you're going to look back and you're going to be like, okay, wait, I see like this pattern of body language, this, 
this like you're gonna you're gonna everything's gonna come together you're gonna have all these epiphanies you're gonna be like oh wait I, I see this this pattern that's repeated I see you know like certain like types of body language or certain types of people that you went through or maybe even certain physical characteristics it's like it's all gonna come together you're gonna be like oh okay that makes that makes sense now it wasn't just bad luck it was the kind of people that I was attracting that I was attracted to Yeah, the high priestess, yeah, once you get on that, in that high priestess energy, you're going to be able to manifest this from an intuitive space, you're going to see things differently. Yeah, there's going to be divine justice here. Devil, queen of cups. What is the devil card trying to say here? Knight of Swords. I'm hearing like not today, Satan. Like, like you might have um you might have someone in devil energy that's gonna expect you to go back to old patterns with them. They're gonna expect you to be the Queen of Cups or King of Cups, male or female. They're gonna expect you to be loving and nurturing and gentle and empathetic. And they're going to come back in this Knight of Swords energy rushing in, but they're going to be, you know, unpleasantly surprised or discover that you've let this burden go, that you're not, you're not the Queen of Cups with them anymore. You have victory, you have public recognition, success. This person might end up being humiliated as well. The Emperor, the Hierophant. Page of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, because you're attracting an emperor. You're attracting commitment. You're attracting, you're manifesting exactly what you want. Queen of Pentacles. Six of Cups. The Moon. Yeah, because people are going to know. People from your past are going to feel this energy shift in you. And they're going to want to rush in and give you this little tiny love offer, this page of cups. They're going to feel it. They're going to feel people from your childhood, people from your past. They're going to feel that you're leveling up, that you're the queen of pentacles, the high priestess, um, or king of pentacles, male or female. But they're going to feel that you're more stable. You're more grounded. You're not just giving and giving and giving and not getting anything back. And you're focused on manifesting this, this true love. So I feel like it will come for you once you start, you know, using your intuition and not ignoring the red flags. And like I said, you might have a past life or a karmic cycle here for some. It's going to be different for everybody. For some, you have a karmic cycle. For some, like, for, like, for some it's like past life. For some, it's um, subconscious, like uh, patterns from childhood. For some, it's a mix of both. But those patterns have to be kind of like recognized and cleared up. And I know it's easier said than done sometimes. But some of you might have like past life, uh, like karmic cycles and karmic patterns that need to be um, addressed, need to be looked at. Because you might be repeating the cycle of like being rejected or being like a martyr type and like having to always like be um, Like just like self-sacrifice, like having to always like be alone or something like that. You might be repeating those patterns for some. But yeah, be be mindful of your energy because you might be tested. The universe might test you as you level up and commit to what you really want. You know, when maybe making like a vision board or something, you're going to be really focusing on manifesting this person that you want. But, um, but the universe might test you. You might have all these people coming back around wanting another chance, but you know they're toxic and you have to, you have to listen to your intuition this time. You have to not listen to the loneliness, but actually listen to your, I know it's hard. I know it's really hard, but you have to decide, you know, if you want to stay in the old patterns or if you want something new, the choice is yours. There's, there's no wrong answers. It's whatever path that you want to take. You have that free will. But if you do want new love, if you do want something different than what you've already experienced with people, then, you know, you're going to have to end these cycles. You're going to have to recognize this. You're going to have to, you might, like I said, you might have a karmic test that you have to end that you're going to go through where it's like people from the past might come back and try to test you and try to pull you back into old, 
um, you know, old cycles when they feel you moving on, but you know, it's just going to be like a chase or chasey relationship. That's not going to go anywhere. There's no mutual love there. So I feel like you're going to be strong and you're going to end that. Anyway, I hope that helps somebody. Um, and like I said, if you want a private reading, my email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. And uh, please, you know, comment, even just leaving a heart comment really helps me get back in the algorithm. And please like and share and subscribe if it resonates. Thank you guys.